Hi everyone, I am Shreya. I'm a digital nomad. I'm an Indian and I'm exploring different places right now. I'm in Estonia and here I have witnessed some cultural shocks, especially as an Indian. And the first one makes me suffer in my everyday life. And that is the small food portions. I just cannot understand how Europeans can survive on such small food portions. Um, from what I heard, even the local people here feel like the food portions are not enough when they are served outside, you know, at restaurants, etc. And they are pricey enough. They are not cheap for sure. So let's see, you know, if I order something for 12 euros, 15 euros, it will not fill my tummy, unfortunately. And uh, that is something that definitely shocks me a lot. And as an Indian with a high appetite, I cannot process how this works. The second one is the personal space. Okay, I understand that, you know, privacy is a big deal in um, Europe, but really, I mean, how does it work to not, you know, be being called by friends that, hey, you know, let's meet up uh, or just be called at random times to just know how you're doing. Because here you have, to make an appointment at least two to three days in advance but typically a week in advance if you have to meet up with your friends and hang out and it is almost shocking to me because from where i come it is very impromptu usually especially if you meet with your very close family your relatives and even with your friends um, it is okay if they would, you know, literally call me um, at my doorstep and say that, hey, you know, just come downstairs. We are here waiting for you. Let's go out for a juice or for a drink, etc. And uh, Europe, that is a no-no. It is considered rude. And that is something that an Indian might not understand. Okay, today is actually Sunday while I'm filming this video. And to be honest, there's not much to do outside today. It is very cold and the malls are going to be shut sooner. And... The shops also might be closed today so I cannot also go out for shopping etc because now is not the perfect day to do it and again as an Indian very hard to understand because we do most of our leisure things and those do involve shopping etc eating out and other things on Sundays here no in some of the countries like when i was in greece and i was in spain even the grocery shops are shut on sundays so i cannot even go out for grocery shopping okay for us indians usually there is somebody who would come every day to collect the garbage from our home and then we don't worry about it we never thought about how the trash where the trash goes and how it's processed and all of those things but here in europe things are different there are almost like even sometimes seven types of dustbins you need to pick from and segregate your waste and carefully put the trash in the relevant dustbin. Yes, there are different types of dustbins. Um, there's even dustbin for glasses, for paper, for cardboard, for plastics, for bio waste and so many other things. Even for batteries or other electronic items, e-waste, etc. There are different types of dustbins for that. And you have to be very careful. In some countries like Germany, Switzerland, etc. It's so serious that you cannot be going out and throwing your waste out on a Sunday, especially the glass waste. So you have to be very careful with those rules. Can you believe you have to pay for something as natural as peeing or pooping? Yes, you have to pay in the public restrooms and there is a fee it could be like 60 cents or a euro but you need to pay before you go and use the restrooms in the public so when i went to a mall for the first time in germany i was surprised to know that i need to pay 80 cents to get into the washroom yes that is something i just could not understand in most of the european countries the legal drinking age is much lower than what we have in india and even i think in the us so at times you would see kids as young as 16 being allowed to consume alcohol and that alcohol is freely available in grocery stores while, while you're going and grabbing your alcohol and it is almost surprising to see that uh, adults do allow kids to drink alcohol because the government allows it and yes i recall but i still haven't absorbed that so we call it a thing as soda or we only use that kind of carbonated water in some of our drinks like you know lemon soda etc but here they usually drink a lot of sparkling water so europeans are big about it and they like to consume sparkling water instead of the normal still water so when we have to order let's say at a restaurant outside or even get a bottle of water then you have to be specific whether you want sparkling water or you want still water i am a big still water fan 
So I cannot understand this obsession of Europeans about their sparkling water. Oh my god, my first visit to an Estonian sauna was extremely embarrassing because I did not know that you are not allowed to go in there with your clothes on. Yes. Are you shocked? That is also a shocker for me as an Indian. When I was visiting one of the gyms here, so it was not even a proper sauna. It was a gym, it was a girls bathroom and I was almost shocked to see I did not know how to react that the girls were just changing their clothes, they were not wearing anything at all and they were just there and uh, you're not supposed to react to it or, and you have to feel normal about it. So with time maybe I got adjusted to it but for the first many months it was a big big deal for me and I had to act calm. Another big deal for me as an Indian was to see tiny kids going to schools and doing their chores at the ages of even four and five years old all by themselves. Oh my god, I still cannot believe that the kids are so independent and also it's so safe for kids to go out there. So parents don't worry about sending their kids at the age of four to their schools by themselves or getting, you know, let's say a chocolate by themselves. They trust in the system and they also trust their kids and that's how it all works. Oh wow, it's brilliant. And another one is the value of euros. So it's just one coin. So if you have many of these coins, these euros, you are already so rich and you carry it in your pocket feeling as if this is a tiny amount but euros are worth a lot. It's 90 rupees, 90 Indian rupees and for an Indian when we consider you looking at you know coins we think it's just going to be a small amount of money and we give more worth to paper notes than to coins. For me to get adapted to this being high, a high value thing was a big deal for me. And finally my favorite one is the obsession with different types of cheese that the Europeans have. Europeans are big on their dairy products especially on cheese and I was so delighted to see the huge variety of cheese that usually the grocery stores in Europe have and it's always amazing to keep trying different types of cheese because they all taste so different. I hope you enjoyed this fun video with me. If you find some other things that you feel are very different between Europe and India, please comment them down below and let's chat about them. Keep exploring with me on this digital nomad lifestyle and I'll definitely see you in another video. Bye-bye.